Well, good morning, everyone, and thank you to uh, Mike Ellis, MLA for the area, and also our Minister of Public Safety and Emergency Services. And before we begin today, I just want to touch briefly on the wildfire situation in the province. I know that Public Safety and Emergency Services Minister Mike Ellis, uh, Joint Forestry and Parks Minister Todd Lowen, and wildfire officials about an hour ago to provide a formal update. I'd like to thank them for that. So if anyone has any additional questions, I may turn them over to Mike, who has the most recent information. But I do want to take this opportunity to thank all of our Alberta wildfire personnel for their dedicated work in fighting fires, and to all of the local authorities and emergency personnel who worked hard all through the night to help uh, visitors and residents in Jasper to evacuate. I know it's a stressful time, it's full of uncertainty, but I'm also very pleased to know that the evacuation last night went as smoothly as we could hope for, and I know that reception centers are being set up for evacuees. So now, as always is the case, our government is ready to act to keep Albertans safe. And I'm confident that the generous um, neighborliness and compassion of Albertans will come through once again. So now to just turn to today's announcement. I'm pleased to join Education Minister Dimitrios Nikolaides, Patricia Bolger, Marilyn Dennis, Fiona Gilbert, and a number of our caucus colleagues to share some good news for students and teachers who in just a few short weeks will be returning to our K-12 classrooms. Now some students uh, are, who aren't quite ready to give up the wonderful summer might be thinking, how could any news about going back to school be good news? And I do hear you, but while we can't do anything to prolong the summer vacation, we are here today to share good news about addressing pressures in Alberta's K-12 classrooms due to historic growth and enrollment. Uh, because addressing an increasing student population is a big deal. Alberta is the fastest growing population in Canada. Now with a population of nearly 5 million, we have a strong economy, low taxes, good paying jobs and safe communities. It's no wonder that more people are choosing to work here, move here, and raise their families here. Those families include a rapidly growing number of school-aged children. In fact, this fall, Alberta schools expect to welcome an historic number of additional students. We know that unprecedented enrollment growth combined with rising operational costs are creating real challenges in our schools. And unfortunately, these challenges often fall on our educators and school authorities who are committed to providing every student with a world-class education that they deserve. That's why Alberta's government is providing a one-time in-year funding boost to, to school authorities, allowing them to adjust their planning for the upcoming year as part of the reason we needed to announce this now is so that they can work that into the planning uh, for the end of August, early September when they begin. So funding can be used to hire more teachers and classroom support staff. It could also go towards easing their operational cost pressures. Our intent is to prevent cost pressures from impeding our ability to provide quality education. We want our educators focused to remain on the classroom and on students. And for that to happen, we know that schools also need classroom space to accommodate the growing enrollment that they're facing. That's why we're investing in the construction and installation of up to 100 additional modular classrooms. The minister can talk about how many we already deployed, but there'll be 100 additional modular classrooms that we'll be deploying in the, in this, in the new upcoming uh, cal uh, school year. The units will create an additional 2,500 student spaces. And in addition, we're investing in the relocation of up to 50 modular classrooms to add an additional 1,250 student spaces in Alberta's fastest growing communities in the Calgary metropolitan region and in Edmonton. And as I mentioned, Ms. Minister Nicolaides will share uh, more details in a moment. But first, I do want to say that Alberta's education system continues to be one of the best in the world. And that's thanks to the committed educators and support staff, the school boards and the school authorities, and all educational partners who w have worked tirelessly to provide quality education for our students. Our government will continue to be here for you. We appreciate what you do every single day. And our government is here to support you as you continue educating and empowering the next uh, generation.